Okay, so this is an example for virtual work. And the goal is to find the force P. This force P required to um, hold at equilibrium this load. We know that the weight is equal to, um, so it's a 50 kilogram bar, so time 9.81. And we know that the angle theta is equal to 60 degrees. And we will use virtual work for that. So the equation of virtual work, the principle of virtual work is that all the sum of the virtual work is equal to zero. And the virtual work formula is the force times dr, delta r, uh, and they need to be in the same direction. So on the left, because we have the force and because we have the displacement, on the left, I will write the forces to the free body diagram. On the right, I will write the displacement. displacement. Okay? So forces, we have the weight at G in the middle, and it's 50 times 9.81. So let me find 50 times 9.81. It's equal to 490.5. Newton, yes, and the unknown forces, so the force P, but also two normal forces, Na and Nb. Okay, so that's for the forces, uh, and we know that uh, G, G, it's in the middle of the road, so the road is 2.5, the alpha of the road is 2.5 meter. Okay, so now for the displacement, so what happened with the bar? When we push on the bar, the bar uh, moves to the left and up, okay? So something like that. Let me, let's see. Oops. Let's see something like that. Okay, so what happened with the point A? The point A go there to this one. So that's your displacement delta axis A. Your point B is going from there to there, so that's your delta YB. It's moving on the Y, okay? And G, so that the point G, G is going to the left, so delta X G, and going up, delta YG, okay? So that's, oops, YG. Okay, so we need to express X, um, X A, Y B, X G, and Y G in terms of um, theta. And for that, we will use a origin. So we will use x and y, these two axes. And this one is a zero. And you should put your axis x and y on something that is fixed, something that is, doesn't move. So that's why I choose the wall. Okay, so the coordinate x a from zero, that's your, that this distance. Okay, let me put it in blue. So this is this distance. And it's equal to L to the 5 meter time cosine theta. So your delta x A, that's the derivation of this one. It's equal to minus 5 sine theta. And because theta is a function, we multiply by delta theta. Delta theta is like your theta dot. Okay, that's your um, u prime. If you take the derivation of cosine u and u is a function, the derivation is u prime sine theta. Sign u, sorry. So that's the same thing with your delta theta. That's for delta x a. Um, now, de delta y b. Do we need delta y b? We don't need delta y b because the normal force is perpendicular to delta y b. So anyway, there is no work of n b at this point. At g, g is going to the left and up, but the weight is just uh, down. So the only displacements that will count in our um, virtual work, that's the delta yg. So we need to write yg. So yg, how much is yg? yg is this distance there, right? So yg is the hypotenuse 2.5, and that's the opposite of the angle theta, so sine theta. And the delta yg, that's the derivation of this function, so it's 2.5, cosine theta times delta theta. So we found delta x a and delta y g. And now we can write our principle of work and energy. So we have delta u 
of the weight plus delta u of the force P is equal to zero. The normal force NA and the normal force NB does not work because there is no displacement uh, in the same direction than the normal forces. The displacement are perpendicular to the normal forces. So delta UW. U is going down, so it's minus W that's going down. And the delta minus delta YG plus P is going to the left. So it's minus P times the delta X A is equal to zero. And let me replace um, W. So W we found minus 490.5. And the delta yg we find 2.5 cosine theta delta theta minus p and delta xa we find 5 sine theta delta theta it's equal to 0. Okay, so oops, I forgot the minus there, minus minus. Okay, so here we have 2 times delta theta. Oops, so we can delete them. If we have, for example, Ax plus Bx, it's equal to zero. We can write that A plus B times X, it's equal to zero. And it means that either A plus B equals zero, either X equals zero. So in our case, we can factorize by d delta, and d delta is not equal to zero. Okay, so a few more steps. Oops, let's make it smaller. Here we go. Okay, so we can write that this one, we have minus 490.5 times 2.5. So minus 1, 2, 2, 6 cosine 60 degrees, because we want the equilibrium at 60 degrees, minus plus 5 sine 60 degrees times P, it's equal to 0. So at the end, we have P that is equal to 1, 2, 2, 6, cosine 60 degrees, divided by 5, sine 60 degrees. So it's make 126 cosine 60, divided by 5, sine 60. 141.6. Newton. So it means that to hold in place this road against the wall, we need to apply a force P, this one, P, of 142 Newton. And we could find this answer uh, with the sum of the force on X and Y, or we can just use one equation. Remember that your principle of virtual work, principle of virtual work, It's one scalar equation that allows us to solve one unknown. And that's true uh, if it's one body or if it's two, body to, two bodies connected together or if it's three bodies to, but, uh, connected together. Okay, only one equation, one unknown and one scalar equation. And in this case, we solve for the force P. And that's it for this uh, first example. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.